You know, it's funny. I actually had to take a break because the last episode upset me. Just the fact that you have this guy starving to death, begging for food. And I would give him food 10 times out of 10. If I could go back in time, I might give him food a second time, but maybe I'd give it, here's a to-go box. Get on your ship. I'll pass this box of food over to you as you sail away. Now, of course, he could just come right back, but like you're, you're giving, you're, you're taking a chance here. But also, he has 100 starving people on this boat, so I guess you can't really expect him to do that. Although, I essentially gave him a to-go bag here at the end, you know, towards the end, before we had that, you know, exploding meatball. <laughs> But it's just, by the way, you can hear the rain. Like, I have a recording schedule i got to keep. It's just been raining on and off all effing weekend. There's nothing I can do about this. So, sorry for the distracting rain sound. It just sucks, though, because, like, you know, basically I'm living off the money I make on Patreon a month. So, I'm living off about $250 a month right now. And so, I don't have money to give to charity. Like, if I pass them in the street and they just need a dollar to eat, I can't give them a dollar. I don't have a dollar to give them. Like, you know, um, but I feel bad and I want to help people. I never want to walk past somebody who's begging for help and not be able to help them. But the thing is, just because somebody's in a bad circumstance, they could just be a complete a-hole, right? They could be a monster. And then you help them and they immediately bite the hand that feeds them. Literally bites the hand that feeds them. In this case, well, you know, figuratively, but you know what I mean. This is a, a, a classic example of biting the hand that feeds it. I just can't believe that, man. I'd still, it's, it's rocking my world. I cannot believe he did that. That makes him the worst villain so far in my mind. They helped you, and you immediately turned on him. You could have been like, okay, thank you for this food. I feel better. Now I need food and you know medical attention for my 100 crew members. And here's this necklace you know, I can help pay for it. Like that gold necklace has got to be worth 100 bills, right? Bada bing, bada boom. We're done. But here, so I say that. That's what he should do, obviously. But even as I say it, I have another thought in my head. If he was the kind of person who would do what I just described, he would never have been king pirate with 50 ships and 5,000 men. You have to be aggressive. You have to have a certain kind of personality to reach the top. I've said this before about some of these other villains. They reach the top and they make mistakes. They get them killed. They lose their empire. You know, Kingpin, if Kingpin was the kind of person who could have won season one of uh, Daredevil, he wouldn't have been the kind of person to get to the top in the first place. If this pirate was the kind of person that'd be like, thank you for this food, now let's negotiate for food for my starving shipmates, he would never have the starving shipmates in the first place. He wouldn't have the 50 ships. He wouldn't have the 5,000 men. So there's that. But one last thing about this. So I don't have money to give this starving person a dollar that I pass on the street. You know what I wouldn't do? Even if I found out they were a horrible person, I wouldn't be like, ha ha ha, you're just going to starve. You can't have my dollar. You're going to starve. You're a bad person. You're a bad person. Now sit there and starve. I wouldn't do that, which is what Patty and some of the other people are doing. And that's the biggest problem I have with them. And again, this is part of the big ass. It's part of the bait and switch. The bait and switch was have people be mean to him so that you feel bad and you want to help him and then you're mad when it turns out that he bites the hand that feeds it, which is exactly what happened to me. If they hadn't been so aggro against him, if they hadn't been such big jerks, like if he had come in begging for food and they immediately gave him food and then he turned on him, I wouldn't feel so betrayed. I felt betrayed because I was responding to them being jerks to him and then he betrayed me. So that's why, that's, that's why it's such brilliant writing. I'm obsessing over this. I've been talking about this now for two episodes because... It's such a great piece of writing. What a great piece of writing. Just fantastic. They really got me. And they nailed every single aspect of getting me. It's all about the setup. You want somebody to like Willow? You have somebody be mean to Willow in the first episode. And you have her be hurt and not fight back. And then you love Willow. Like it only takes one episode to do that. It takes one scene to do that. You have somebody be mean to them. They don't fight back. They don't stand up for themselves. They sit there and cry. And then you love them forever. That's how you introduce a character. That's, that's how you, you endear a character to you. So, brilliant writing. The, the, this writers, and I'm sure the show writers, they, they make adjustments and they do their own thing. I assume the guy who's writing the manga is not the same person who's putting out the show. I assume. Whoever's doing the show is really good too. Just because you're adapting material doesn't mean you're a moron. 
D and D showed that with uh, uh, Game of Thrones. You can be adapting a great story and still f it up, right? Pardon my French, but I'm leaving that in. Normally, I'd just say it again without the cuss word, but like I'm leaving it in because you know what? They effed it up. Very annoyed. Didn't think it was possible, but they did it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. This is episode 23. You see where we are? We're going on one. Three, two, one. So we're jumping all the way back to this part, huh? I see how it is. At least they fast forward through it. They show just little bits of it. That was a big bowl, too. It looked like he also gave him like a bottle of sake or something. Not just water. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was sake. Yeah, I feel straight now. <laughs> it's hard to believe all of last episode was just this, right? What happened after he hit him. <laughs> that's right. Meatball this dude. Was it, that was all last episode was just that one scene where he was basically you know, fighting people and proving his dominance. Yeah, <laughs> you're damn annoying. Now, did he murder these people? That's what I want to know. Because in Hunter Hunter, when they'd use guns like this, they would murder people. Here, I'm not so sure. Obedience, I demand it. Probably ain't good enough. Oh, okay. Zeph is the owner's name. That's why I was confused about the end of the last episode. Gotcha. I'm not looking at the title. Nope. See, I got the title up here too, right? So I got to look. I got to look away from two spots and not see the title. So they know each other. I guess he was part of his crew at one time. It's probably how he lost his leg. How dare you question me? I'm your owner. Everybody's got an opinion. <laughs> Defeated warrior, huh? You got spanked out there. <laughs> Wait, how dare you lose once? Well, if you lose once, then that's all you're known for. That's how he got his ass kicked, and that's why his ship's so messed up. Hey, Luffy only heard one phrase, and that was Grand Line. That's it. He didn't hear nothing else. <laughs> Red Foot Zeph, huh? That's a pretty good combination of skills there. We know he can fight. We saw that. Yeah, why don't you mind your own business? Yeah, that makes me very happy. Really? Ah, uh, so the opposite of Bruce Lee, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the past. He can still do it, though. We saw him. I can still shove this uh, peg leg up your ass. Yeah. Maybe I have hands now. That's what I'm saying. He's still got these hands. Everybody just looking on. The grand line, I, I, it's, they're being vague about what it actually means. Yeah, let me read it. Hey, he does want to read it. Yeah, <laughs> now I definitely want to work for you. <laughs> like this is all he's only hearing like ten percent of the conversation. 
Why don't you come over here and take it? That's right. You don't deserve to touch it. That's what I said. I'll just have to take it. That's right. You got spanked. No, you're the person who failed at the grand line. Apparently, if you lose once, that's it. You lose. You can never come back from it. His minion is really... He's hating all this. You got him openly sobbing. Wait, are you saying you're just down to that one ship? Luffy can be like, one piece, what? <laughs> I have something to say. <laughs> He's got opinions. <laughs> How dare you say what you're going to do? Why do you care? I'm going to have to kick his ass. Why don't you just take that food to your ship, a-hole? Hey, you don't have to. I just stay in a fact. <laughs> I'm conquering. I'm taking it. I think you were just weak. So he lost all his men. Gotcha. You got messed up. There must be sea monsters on the Grand Line. That's the only thing I can think of. You don't seem like you have a sense of humor at all, though, dude. He's about to stomp you out. <laughs> you know, uh, Zeph, he defeated Luffy, right? Which, I, by the way, I didn't think it was possible. Like, just with fisticuffs. But I think he was taken by surprise, so that's part of it, too. I don't think ballistic weapons are going to get done. Sharp weapons are what I, what I think is going to get done. That or maybe some kind of python thing where you could wrap around him and, you know, imprison him. Ah, uh, yes, look at Usopp being scared again. Again. Terrified. Yes, we haven't left yet, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> well, his legs are shaking, man. He is filling his diaper. Look at him. <laughs> Shut up. That's what I'm saying. Shut the hell up. This is all hilarious. I didn't say they were all of them. They were just two of them. Yeah, that's right. Two. Two. <laughs> what about it? Oh, so you're backing down, huh? This was what he should have done in the first place. Grab the bag and go feed him. He's giving him a chance. What are you going to do with the restaurant ship? You need a real ship. Not good. I like his little apron. He's still sitting there like that. <laughs> Chore boy. I don't think I'm ever going to get over a chore boy. It's just not a thing over here. Oh, I almost forgot about these two idiots. Well, I don't think we saw them last episode. Now nah, you're good where you're at. Look at her. She don't care. She's looking at the map. That's all she cares about. <laughs> really? The hell did that mean? What just happened? That's very confusing. Did they fall in love with her or something? Like, what was the heart? Oh, she's looking at the wanted poster. Ah, oh, I see. Won't she show us? See, she's going to sell them out. That's why you can't trust her. Trustworthiness is going to minus 10 if this keeps up. 
She might be the first character with a negative total score. Man, she is treacherous. Patty can't believe it. He's in a state of perpetual shock. Look, I still got my pitchfork, which I have for some reason. <laughs> that is one big boy. That's his next job. That's what I'm saying, man. You can't do that. You just can't let somebody starve, man. Interesting. <laughs> Go out the back door, not the front door, because we know you're scared. That's right, I'm trying to stomp you out. I like Patty, even though he's an idiot. He reminds me of the barbarian class in Dungeons and Dragons, right? Two brain cells, plenty of muscles. Guess they've rallied the troops. So we should just submit anytime somebody rolls up who's big and tough. Just give up. That's what I'm saying, man. That's my morality, too. But once they, they're strong again, I'm going to kick their ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's going to be me. Oh, okay. He went a different direction. <laughs> I like this matchup. Dude, it's all about circumstance, dumbass. There's a right way to do things, there's a wrong way to do things. I just, I'm with him 100%, bud. These, these dudes got this uh, black and white morality going on. Yeah, what's up with that? Were you sleeping? Or were you lying? Fried his brain. Show us the sea monster. <laughs> That's right. Yep, it's a sea monster. Or is that a person? Oh, wow. No doubt. What? Even Luffy's affected by that one. <laughs> Even he was affected by that one. If a dude can walk on water, I guess he's pretty powerful. Huh? Interesting. Now, see, it's another one of these character introductions, right? He'll probably turn out to be a good guy. But they're jerks, so you know, it's a horror story from their perspective. From his perspective, he, you know, they, they started it, right? They got rolled. <laughs> hey, man, pay your attention. Hawkeye. Can he walk on water or what? Like, what are you telling us?
probably won't see him for 500 episodes, right? But when we do see him... Yep, they're hyping him up. <laughs> really? Yeah, kind of like you with the other guy. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh, sure. Maybe you were on his turf. <laughs> hey, man, it could have been nappy time. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you getting so uptight? It's a magical place. It's like Tahiti, right? <laughs> Come on, dude. If there was a, a bravery ranking, he'd be a minus 10 right now. <laughs> he is insane. Like I said, he's detached from reality. Yeah. I'm a man with goals, and I have one goal. Well, they reaffirmed their mission anyway, right? Yeah, that was kind of mean. Yeah, even my jaw is strong. You saw me with the dumbbell in my mouth, right? <laughs> He's taking this kind of personally. <laughs> you don't have to be a jerk about it. I'm kind of with him. Nonsense. The cook likes all this, apparently. Yeah. Like the situation, why do I have a pitchfork on a restaurant ship with no grain and no pr crops? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Luffy could just leave, I assume. Like, Let's get full, boys. Now, where'd the water come from? He just had a bag, right? Was there a bladder of water in the bag? Yeah, I like your war shirt. War Eagles. No. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it in a restaurant ship. That would be better. Yeah, they're not trying to go back to the Grand Line. Dude, we just got stomped out. <laughs> really? How dare you question me? Damn, dude. This is how you get deserters. Do you want deserters? Because this is how you get deserters. That's not a managerial style that lasts very long. Darth Vader killing people, pff, that would not last. That was such a big ship too, man. Punk cooks, not just regular cooks, they are punk cooks. Well, this feels like this is about to be a cliffhanger. Was well, this somebody new coming up? We got enough characters, man, why are you going to do some more? 13,000 characters. <laughs> George R. R. Martin, Game of Thrones ass. Place cliffhanger here. Right here. Three, two, one. Shit. That's right. You're being attacked from behind. Yeah, this must be Hawkeye, right? I thought it'd be a long time before we saw him. Well, no cliffhanger for us, I guess. <laughs> yeah, what the... Yeah, good riddance to bad rubbish. Yeah, cut by a sword, you say? Oh, uh, well, nothing to do but die. Man, can I just say, I love the animation. <laughs> yeah. 
put the large pot away with the large handle and raise anchor. <laughs> well, I have to say, I wasn't expecting this. Did their ship get sunk? Hey, extend your hands out, man. Do the Mr. Fantastic thing. Oh, crap. They lost their ship. Now they can't leave. <laughs> really? Stabbed? Oh, she took the ship. Are you effing kidding me? Minus 20 in trustworthiness. Boy, I can't wait till Friday's. Can't wait till Friday's character quarter. Man, I'm marking her down so bad. That is outrageous. She's dead to me. What is he just on a little dinghy, or can he literally walk on water? <laughs> he is a son of a bitch, isn't he? Okay, so he's on a little boat with uh, the candles with the green smoke, or green flame. Okay, gotcha. Ah, uh, yes. Guess we don't have to go to the Grand Line to find the son of a bitch. <laughs> That's right. Are you kidding me? They don't even show the number, even in slow motion? Look at this crap. Oh, wait a minute. It uh, looks like... I think I see it. It's um, 30 million berries? Is that what it is? 30 million berries. That's where he's at right now. 30 million berries. What has it been before, I wonder? Man, that's one frame you can see the number. One frame. Maybe it's the same number for everybody, because I don't believe that Zora would have the same number as Luffy. That's also 30 million. Maybe it's generic. Maybe that dude is wrong. That it doesn't matter. Like, they, the number never changes. I'll check in a few more episodes. I'll check sometime next week and see if it's changed at all. Like, I, maybe after he does something important. Otherwise, it's just they, they threw a random number. Maybe that's why it's so fast, because they, they don't care. It doesn't matter what the number is. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> 